the parametric form of a hyperbola. Okay, so we've just established the um, for the ellipse. Okay, so for the hyper, uh, for the ellipse, sorry, x is a cos theta. So this is the ellipse. So x is a cos theta, and y is b sine theta. All right, that's for your ellipse. You need to know that. All right, so now we're going to look at the result for the hyperbola. So let's set up the next proof, 2.5. So I'm just going to draw the side on hyperbola there with the foci on the horizontal plane. Okay. I'm also going to draw the units, that, not the unit, but the circle radius A so that it touches the hyperbola there. Okay. And then I'm going to pick the point P somewhere on the hyperbola. Okay. So, what we're going to do from there is drop the perpendicular down, okay, and then from that point where the intercept is the y-axis, draw a tangent to the circle. Okay, when you draw that tangent to the circle using your extension one circle geometry property, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so we form this right angle triangle here. Okay, and that's what we're going to use to get these values. So, from that, we know this distance here is A, okay, for the radius. And then the general point X out here, so that whole side of the triangle, we're just going to label as X. Okay, because we're not quite uh, knowing what it is. Well, it really is. That's what we set the parameter. Okay, so that's X, the distance of X. So, X is the hypotenuse in this case, all right? So... A over X is equal to what? What ratio? With respect to theta. Yep, so you've got your adjacent and hypotenuse for cos theta. So, um, sorry, X is going to be... Um, a over cos theta. Swap them to the M. And what's the reciprocal for cos? That's sine. Third letter, remember? So x is A times sec of theta. Now, because I don't have a direct vertical y value inside that right angle triangle, because I had to shift that triangle to make that work, okay, so I'm not going to do the y value the same way. However, what I'm going to do is I know the equation of the hyperbola in this format. All I'm going to do is substitute this x value in, okay, and I'll come up with my y value the same. So, what's the equation for your hyperbola, Cartesian equation? squared over a squared take away y squared on b squared is 1. Oops, so I'm going to substitute that in there. Okay, so number 1, number 2, put 1 into 2. So a squared sec squared theta over a squared take away y squared on b squared one. So tidy up. So a squares can cancel. Okay. And I want to go. Um, go y squared over b squared, so I'm moving that over to the other side and make it positive. Okay, so that means I need to move that 1 back to the other side. Okay, what was your trig identity that had 1 and sec squared in it? 
So we know 1 plus tan squared theta is 6 squared theta. So tan squared theta is going to be 6 squared theta, take away 1. Okay. So therefore, y squared on b squared is tan squared theta. Right, and take the square of everything and move that b on the other side. So therefore, y is b tan theta. Okay, so your power matrix for your hyperbola, x equals a sec theta and y equals b tan theta. Okay, however, your angle cannot equal 90 degrees or can't equal pi on 2 because that's undefined for tan. Alright, so that's why you've got the break in the hyperbola. So write down the Cartesian equation for the hyperbola defined by that. Okay, so x is a sec theta and y is b tan theta. Okay, so x squared over a squared, take away y squared on b squared is 1. That's your standard Cartesian form. All you need to do is substitute a and b in there. So x squared over 9, take away y squared on 16. Okay, any questions there? Right, parametric equation. So we've got a Cartesian equation, let's write it in parametric form. Okay, so normally x is um, a sec theta and y is b tan theta, normally, if it was at the centre, this one we don't have the centre, so we need to incorporate the rest of the value with x into that equation. So x take away 4, it's going to be a sec theta, so a squared is 5, so a is going to be root 5 sec theta. parametric equation, the x value, and y plus 1 is going to be b tan theta, right, so b, is not, b squared is 9, so b is going to be 3, and that's your y value with respect to theta, with respect to your parameter. question for that one. Right, I'm going to have to stop it there because I'm going to have to get through this question. Looks like you two had enough anyway.